development. Hey, I, I have to ask you about uh, how you knew that uh, your partner, you could trust your partner, because that's ultimately, it's easy to say, hey, you know, you join this group on Facebook and there's 5,000 other people in this business line. You say, let's partner up and you partner up and you don't really know a lot about the other person. You may not have met in person and you've never been through rough seas to know if you can trust them. How, how do you know that? Yeah, yeah the, 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 that's great. So a uh, couple of thoughts. First thought is, I think a great thing about being and doing these deals, right? Uh, we are not kind of, we didn't come up with the apple in our garage and need to safeguard that nobody steals the idea, right? So I think there's different mindset that people need to have when they want to do those deals. Even business owners, when they want to buy other companies to grow, right? The mindset needs to shift a bit about protecting everything and be scary so I'm scared about something can go wrong and you can make a more risks, right? So to speak, right? So that was one part that I would just say from the mindset standpoint. The second thing is if you join venture with somebody doing deals and you make offers on three deals and you negotiate and then you, uh, one offer is accepted and then you go through financing and there is a lot of headaches and issues. I I would say you can learn about you can know that person better than most of your family, so to speak, because it's raw. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, uh, it's, it's raw. Process. It's real. Yeah. It's raw. It's real. It's uh, I I think somebody is saying it right. Like you can spend meet over coffee coffees with somebody for ten years, or you can go skydiving with for five minutes with somebody, and the relationship with that person that you just have a five minutes of something super special will be stronger, the bond will be stronger than with somebody that you are just meeting for a coffee once a month, right? And I believe it's true, right? Uh, and uh, obviously then there's some legal that you can do, right? Uh, that kind of protects that part a little bit in terms of like what happens if, right? And- uh, What about, let me ask know. you I, about the, the process. So how much, to get an SBA loan to purchase this, you made an offer at this marketing company. Uh, yep. You know, it's a good, it's got to be a reasonable offer because they're just not going to underwrite it or finance it unless it's right in their their numbers, right? Yep. So you make an offer yep. on this, and how much does your partner own of that to to get the SBA loan? And because my partner's from Czech, and he, <laughs> what does that look like? Yeah. So, uh, so in terms of like, uh, in, in terms of the combination of international and, and yeah, US, I guess like, like, like SBA goes well. Like, SBA looks into you. It's a financial proctology. I mean, they look into you and go, okay, your other partner's from the check. How do we check him? Yeah. yeah. How do we do a background yeah. check on Christoph? Yeah, uh, that's right. So there's, uh, I would not necessarily want to discuss specifically how we have. No, it, no, no specifics, but uh, yeah, right. Yeah, uh, that, 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 that's fine. So basically, uh, and that might be valuable for your audience if somebody is like me and wants to do it. So uh, basically, the U.S. citizen needs to own at least 51% of the deal every single time, right? Or multiple U.S. citizens, right? And then anybody that owns more than 19% of the company needs to guarantee the loan, even if you are, uh, you are not U.S. citizen, right? Uh, and then your decision is, one, do I want to guarantee the loan so I can have 49% maximum, right? And uh, go with that struggle, which is basically the international rabbit hole of uh, of all those uh, credit checking and stuff and looking at the assets and balance sheet. Or you can kind of stay under that 90% ra radar and then you, it's easy and it's more basically one person is buying it and and then, uh, and then I guess you can make some agreements how to change it when the SBA alone is gone. Yeah, potentially, yeah. I don't know, right? But uh, but that's kind of what the op what are the options for people that even want to do it and are not in the US? Uh, we kind of even have uh, some talks with some guys that want to kind of do it. In the well, US I mean, look, we're we're right US next to Canada. Right? And a lot of people sign up for courses in Canada, so it's not like. 
Yeah. We have to, you know, it's not like thinking it's got to be in China or, or you know, yeah. Europe. E the EU yeah. could be just right over in Canada. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just uh, maybe just a uh, word of ca caution. One uh, hiccup that we had in terms of the getting the loan uh, was that at uh, at first bank told us that uh, like because I'm not U.S. citizen, not having green card, uh, I can own more than 19 percent and still not guarantee the loan. And we set up the whole comp the holding structure and stuff, right? And then, uh, and then basically, basically, then we later learn it's not the case. So, just from the experience, if some bankers or uh, sales guy for the banker told you that you can probably own more than nineteen percent and not guarantee the loan and not do the background check and stuff, uh, from my experience, it's not the case. Yeah. Uh, which we. I hope this video has inspired you. If you need help buying your first million dollar business, make sure to visit me at dealflowsystem.net. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe down below. Comment on it, share it, tell everyone about it. And thanks for watching.